And welcome back. Topping your family's health tonight, hair loss. Mm -hmm. It's hard enough for many men to accept the fact that their hair is thinning. It is even more difficult for women. Our health specialist, Beatrice Politi, joining us with more. You know, the saying goes, hair is a woman's crowning glory, and it's that much more painful when it starts to fall out. Absolutely. I think far more value is put on women's hair than men's hair. Far more acceptable for men to lose their hair. The medical term for it is alopecia. We tend to think it's common in men, but about 45% of women will have hair loss at some point in their lives. There are many causes. Some are treatable and some are not. Either way, there are ways to soften the psychological blow caused by hair loss. Yeah. So let's... let's Make okay. a little switch Thank here. You. Jackie and Sippen's hoping for a whole new here. look. Oh my, that's really Whoa. pretty. I feel like Farrah Fawcett or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sippen has a form of alopecia, yeah. or hair loss. She has eyebrows and eyelashes, yeah. and but she's lost the hair on her head. And this happened about 31 years ago, when I was 17 years old. I felt like a, I was brushing my hair one day and I felt like a little dime, bald spot here. Within three years, most of her hair was gone. At 17, you know, 18 years old, to be losing your hair was traumatic. There was days where I didn't leave my bed. Hair loss can be congenital, meaning present at birth. It can also be genetic, as well as acquired, which means due to other illnesses or diseases. Well, you may have underlying problems like low iron, uh, especially in women. Uh, and they may have thyroid deficiency, they may have diabetes. Uh, there are certain drugs they may be taking. It's usually after all other options have been exhausted that clients come here to Continental Hair. Michael Suba can create pieces to cover up patches of hair loss or make a custom wig to cover the whole head. Whereas, you know, in the 70s where wigs were, you know, weighed 10 pounds and were, were very bulky, uh, right now we're seeing them weigh four or five ounces and are perfectly undetectable. Like this one. This looks good. <laughs> Nine-year-old Kia was born without hair. She has a hair shaft abnormality. Kia says most of her classmates already know. Yep, they treat me like a normal. And she says there can be advantages to wearing a wig. Yeah, I like it because when it gets hot, then I can just take it off. Now, Kia's a little bit shy. When it gets hot, she says she can take her wig off. And on hot summer days, I wish I could take my hair off, too. Uh, but in some cases, hair loss is temporary. For example, treating an underlying condition like a mineral or iron deficiency might solve the problem. But the only way to tell what kind of hair loss you might have and why is to go see a medical professional. Those wigs that you showed were mm -hmm. incredibly remarkable, especially the one there on yes. the little girl. I yes. imagine that there is quite a cost for them when they look that real. Absolutely. For a good quality partial piece or a full wig, costs usually start at about $2,000. The hair is dyed or highlighted or cut specifically for you, so it looks natural. There are also some uh, drugs that can give good results to regenerate hair growth. If that's an option you're interested in, you can always talk to your doctor about those types of products.